This is the last question. Share a testimony of something that God did in your ministry that you could call a miracle. It's five years ago. Um, it was literally uh, a day before we showed up to the missions conference, and I guess that would be 01 right now. Maybe it was the maybe it was 2000 when it happened, and um, and literally um, for reasons that we could not put our finger on, that we did not know, could not identify. Um, a three-month period there with our organization, uh, the finances literally just drained up in the support. And sometimes things like that happen in an organization. Sometimes you may have a catastrophe at a certain point, like a tsunami or a, or a Hurricane Katrina or a Wilma or something where people begin to use their, their resources internally to fix the problems and all. And because of that, other things begin to, to go neglected. We don't know what that was. We don't know if it was a natural catastrophe or what. But all of a sudden, over, three, over a three-month period, things literally dried up. What was unique about that is, is that me and my wife, we literally asked ourselves and we examined our own lives, the organization, were we doing anything unethical? Um, was there sin somewhere in our life or within the organization? Uh, was there something that we were doing wrong that we didn't know that we were doing wrong? And so we looked at all of these areas and we found out and looked and literally saw that, that there wasn't any really major things just really sticking out in that kind of a, you know, in that, in that way. And so... We went through a period there, 13 weeks without a paycheck. And, um, and literally, we were on the verge of losing our home, our car, our organization, the assets of the organization, everything, the different things that we had. Um, what was really wild and what a lot of people don't understand is when you start an organization or a business, there has to be a name that goes and signs on certain things. And so our personal assets were literally entwined at that time with the assets in the in the way that things were ran within our organization. We happened to be um, right here in Florida, day before, 24 hours before we showed up here at the missions conference. And a friend of mine, who's a very wealthy man in the central part of the state, asked us to come over for, for, uh, for lunch. It was about 11 o'clock when we showed up for lunch. When we got done, it was probably around noon, and he asked me, he said, you know, why don't you uh, come walk on the lake with me? Let's just talk a little bit. And so we did, and we were walking, and he asked me three times, how are you and your family doing? And I knew kind of where he was going with it, but I kept talking about the organization, I kept talking about the souls that were being that were being reached and saved, and I kept talking about the open doors that were coming along. And finally, after that third time, he looked at me and he grabbed me by the shoulders and he said, "Tell me, what is going on with you and your family? How are you guys doing?" And I began to share, just opened my heart. I was just bawling. I was crying, and I was sharing the things that we were going through and how the organization. We don't understand why. Big old tears in his eyes. He walked up to me and he put his arms around me. He put his arms and he was just crying. And he said, I just want you to know that me and my wife and our family have always believed in you and Allison and what you're trying to do for urban youth. And he says, how much do you need? And it was five digits. I mean, it was, it was a high number of what we needed. And I told him that. And he looked at me and he said, consider your debt paid in full today. And he looked at me and he goes, when do you need the money? And literally, it was like five or ten minutes after um, the time that the lawyers had given us a deadline. And, um, and I told him with tears running down my face, I said, five minutes ago. And so he went to his office and wrote the check. And literally that day, God showed himself in a miraculous way, in a financial way, um, to see um, uh, this organization continue 11 years you know, into it, five years later. And, and when we're talking, it reminds me of another story. Um, we were a little short changed and we always at our at our kids events and our programs we always give treats and stuff and i'll never forget this one day um we had like 72 fruit roll-ups okay that was all we had no more no less it was that we had our interns and our staff we were there we counted them one more time and i literally for the first time prayed i was so shallow as a christian i prayed god don't let more than 72 kids show up today because we just don't have nothing for them and wouldn't you know, that day over 200 kids showed up. Well, the whole time, I'm just sweating the whole service. How are we going to give these kids a treat? What are we going to do? And I'll never forget, I went back into the truck. It was at the end. We were getting ready to pass out the treats and all. And one of the interns, from Indi um, actually from, uh, from Indiana, looked at me and he goes, what are we going to do? And I said, well, in the Bible, they pray over these things. And we're just going to pray over these fruit roll-ups that we just don't run out. And we're going to give all the girls one. And we're going to give the girls first, and we have any left over, we'll give to the boys. 
That's what we're going to do. Over 200 kids there, like 236 kids. And, um, and so what happened is, is that we put these fruit roll-ups in an orange, one of those um, five-gallon, ten-gallon paint buckets from Home Depot. And we had those things, and we were walking. It just happened that the sun was behind him, so you could see the silhouette of the level of the, um, of the, of the uh, container. And I watched him, because we counted it three times in the truck. Three times. 72 fruit roll-ups. We counted it. And did you know that I watched the level of that barrel never go down until 236 kids got it, and we had 40-some-odd fruit roll-ups left over? Wow. And so this, you know, the story that you see in the Bible with the breaking of the fish and all, we literally saw documented truth with eyewitnesses. We saw that happen downtown. Praise God. Thank you. Is that good?